And our next guest, honestly, he's going to be able to talk about that. He's honestly one of the best sports writers, we'll say in Southern Ohio, but we'll also add to the world. Ever. I mean, we'll just put it Ever. on there. Ever. This man, dying, cannot keep this man from coming back and writing a hell of an article. <laughs> my friend and my family, Brock Natter. Let's bring it on the show, Brock. <laughs> How's it going, Brock? How we doing? <clears throat> I'm doing pretty good, guys. I'm doing good. Uh, excuse me. Excuse my voice a little bit. Um, I was at I was at the Cincinnati Reds game on Friday. So, oh, uh, what a game! So was Adam. He was yeah. there with you. <laughs> yeah, hey, at was, least you got an excuse. Down there was still, uh, so yeah, so my, my voice is still recovering a little bit. Hey, how was that yeah. environment, man? Josh, that had to be one crazy win. environment. Man, that was hands down the best baseball environment I've ever been in. To to put to put it in every every other sports event I've ever been to, that was the second loudest event I've ever been to. The That's first awesome. one and was uh, the, first. What's the first. That's huge. I yeah. could imagine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big time. Big time, runs. man. Yeah. Yeah. How was, yeah. That, the, how was the ninth inning, man, where they're hitting those bombs, almost come back and win the game? I bet that place man, was Man, uh, so, so – <laughs> it's it's eleven seven and 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 you know I'm I'm there with a uh, with with Derek Webb, Christian Spradlin, and uh, you know uh, Derek's dad as well, and <laughs> so and we're kind of just looking around. We're like, okay, you know, hey, it's it's eleven seven, eleven eight, whichever one it was, and um, then we're like, okay, Diaz is coming in. We're gonna shut this down. We're gonna go home. Great, first home runs hit. We're like, okay, all right, <laughs> no no cause for concern. We're good. We're good. Everything's good. Then the second home run hit. We're like, okay, I don't know what's going on. Here. <laughs> I know. Starting to get you want to believe, but you can't believe exactly. it because yeah, it's the Reds. Yeah. <laughs> and then it gets to eleven ten. I'm like, if this comeback happens <laughs> and we lose this winning streak, I'm gonna burn this building down. I was mad. I I, I will I will say that uh, I had uh, some courage flown through me. It was free, so yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. to an environment like that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But but it was it was so electric, man. Oh, so electric. The coaster of the game. The Braves get out. They get up early, and then the Reds come back throughout the whole game, mm-hmm. and then and that's, then just holding off the comeback at the end. Just that's hell kind of the, of the story of their season so far. You yeah, know? I got to see, I gotta see the opposite yesterday as uh. As the Reds were the one, they were trying to come back. And I said, Braves mm. got out early. Reds were trying to come back. Reds were trying to come back. And then the Braves had just inevitably held them off into the streak. And honestly, you, you, you're kind of in a good position because um, I don't know his name, but the ninth bat, uh, nine hole hitter, uh, Freely or Freely? Freely. 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 Oh, um, yeah, Freely. Freely. Yeah, he hits a bomb. Then Freely. you have Freely. your, your uh, leadoff hitter come out, does exactly what you need him to do, hit a bomb for you. With two outs, I mean, with Jonathan India and. Ellie De La Cruz coming up. Yep. I mean, you're in the you're in the prime spot. I think I think India ended up going hitless. I, yeah, he I did. He, did he get walked? Yeah, yeah. he got He's walked. Like, he walk. Yeah, yeah. Um, but hey, Brock, just kind of going into um, some stuff. It sounds like Southern Ohio had some runs in the baseball softball world themselves. Uh, Wheelersburg went in. What was that? Their second. State title on a row. I think that's what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, back to back state titles. Yeah. Um, now, was that? Uh, I know you guys were covering that team. Can you talk on that mm. team a little bit? Because we're SBC knobs up here. But it seems like they got some <laughs> dogs down there in Wheelersburg, bro. I'm going to have to go down Man, the coming out myself. Right. <laughs> it, it's 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 almost like an every year thing. Ever since ever since I, I moved back from Illinois back in 2019. Every single Wheelersburg team has been, except for one, has been to the Final Four. The, is that this, coach? Is it the water? Is, is it the coaching? Yeah, like, what, what is it? So what's crazy it, is, it, is, is like it's a little coach. bit of everything. It, it's it, it's it's just the program that they have established, but also they ran into a wonderful wave of talent. So uh, back in back in 2018, um, Wheelersburg Little League, uh, their Little League team won won the college, won the World Series. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about the Little League World Series. Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember so, hearing about so, that. so all of those players—they're now in high school. Hold on. So, oh, so uh, they won, uh, this is a title uh, team. Little League oh, World Series yeah. and multiple. Wow. Title hey, yeah. title yeah. town. Exactly. Yeah. It's, That's insane. It's literally, now, town. it's literally title town. It's literally title town, and 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 honestly, they'll they'll win the state title again next it, season it, as well. That's what they, I was wanting they, to they, touch. Even even though even though they lose two play, they lose their center fielder and the first baseman, and the first baseman that's is it? signed to the University of Virginia. 
That's oh, all the right. news. Yuva? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 She ranks. Yes. I'm, t- I'm telling you, dude. Like, she she is easily the best softball player I've ever seen. And I've, I've seen D1 players. Is it contact, she, power, both? All of it. Oh, everything you need. All of it. Everything five you tools. need. Yeah, five tools. Mm-hmm. So I've seen that. Real, real like... deal. <clears throat> but, yeah, they be, they bring back seven starters next year. They're going to be just fine. They'll, they'll win a state title again next season. Yeah, picking up right where they left off. So I've seen where it, uh, the quotes after the game was crazy. The coach saying, you know, we're just going to go do it again. Um, you had two seniors that was crying because they had to graduate and they <laughs> couldn't so win awesome. a third one with their team. <laughs> That's so awesome. I mean, yeah. this like that team just seems like it was so put together. It, is it, you know, the coaching staff? We, we like, you know, something's got to be going together there. You know, I mean, they, so so in Wheelsburg, they play softball year round. So, <clears throat> so, so literally after the state title, like nine of their players went immediately into travel softball. The state the state championship was on a Saturday, and then on Monday they were playing travel softball. Most of their players, they're in Tennessee, Colorado, uh, and tournaments all around the highlight. They play year I was going to say we should have one of them on, but I'm a little intimidated now. Like, what are you talking about? These are real athletes. They're playing on multiple travel teams too, right? I said, I know, like, exactly, I yeah. Yeah, 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 there, yeah there's, like there's two or three different teams. Though, so. That's, that's mm-hmm. kind of what it is. And that's how they're able to, like, make it year-round is just by playing on multiple teams. Like, as soon as one season ends, they're just right to the next one, just no stop, just grind yep. after day after day after day. So, mm-hmm. like, not yeah, to, and go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> not to change subjects here, but also I've mm-hmm. seen where you, you was covering a Courthouse. And, uh, you know, that team, that was 27-1 and one this year. I was just wondering No ask, hitter to go to the Final Four. A what? perfect <laughs> game before that? Like, I just want to talk about that team a little mm-hmm. bit. You know, it's like, what was going, do- going on down there in Courthouse? Well, okay, so so last season, they won the, they won their first district, uh, I believe, since 2007, I believe oh, it wow. was. Yeah, and, and that entire team from, from last year was back this year. Gotcha. So therefore, their motivation was already there, and they and they had three standout pitchers: Tanner Lemaster, AJ Dahlmeyer, and Titus Lotz. Now, Lemaster was already uh, committed to to the University of Kentucky for football. Oh, okay, yeah. Titus Lotz um, is a lefty, and he's committed to Bowling Green State University for baseball. <laughs> wow. And then, and then Dahlmeyer. Um, he he's committed to to Lake Erie College for baseball, he also but he's also but he also base, broke the he also broke the, playoffs. Yeah, he also broke three three uh, school records in football season as well, where they were highly successful. So also, they what team. are they running yeah. out of ink for these record books? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! Everybody around wow. this area is just torched. Either that, or I was just fat and slow when I was younger. Like <laughs> hey, these I kids would fat roast fat me. And slow, but they are still doing. It. Cole Miller's out here making me feel yeah. bad. Then we get, we get Dio in here. He's talking London Fletcher. I'm like, God. <laughs> hey, not to. Yeah. Uh, I, I know we're talking about uh, the courthouse pitching and stuff like that, but it has to be more than pitching, right? I mean, they got. Dogs in the batting because it looked like yeah, perfect game. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. It wasn't like they were winning. One they won like, ten. Like, 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 yeah. the game to get there. Sure, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, okay. So, um, I their their fir- their first loss of the season was was to Unioda. That was, I believe that was their fourth or fifth game of the season. Which they also and then they went on to win. Too, so then they went on to win twenty straight. Yeah. Straight. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah I mean. Straight. Yeah, the one like twenty or twenty-one straight games before uh, leading up to the final four. Um, I mean, it was it was way more than just you know those three guys that I mentioned. I mean, right. you, you got you, you got a guy you got a guy like John Wall. You have Jonah Waters. Uh, you know, the you, know Bre- you know Bryce Eatsville. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they they just had guys who were incredibly motivated, who realized the opportunity that presented itself. Uh, you know, before the season started. And, and I mean, they they went out and they took no prisoners. They they knew each and every time that they stepped on the, on the field that they were the best team. They had the best hitting. They had the best trio of pitching. Even if you chase one, even if you chase one guy off the mound, they're just gonna bring on another guy that throws 85, 90 miles. <laughs> right. there's, there's no, I remember I'm, when I was in high school, man. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be on a team that won two district titles, uh, making it to the Sweet Sixteen. Mm-hmm. And I remember we just had two absolute studs in Mason McCloy and Anthony McBadden. 
And I remember Coach Combs really always telling us, like, hey, to make a deep tournament run, you really just need two absolute dogs and then maybe somebody to come in and, and as a middle reliever slash closer mm-hmm. to kind of get them from one game to the next. So them having three dogs, I mean, that's just – that's something you don't really get a whole lot in high school baseball. I well, mean, honestly, yeah. he said it best. When you got three dogs like that, you don't take prisoners. Well, well, here's the crazy thing. So, uh, so the guy that threw the no hitter, I haven't even mentioned his name yet. <laughs> What's this guy's Things name? We gotta know. talk about this guy. I mean, throwing a no hitter to go to the state title. You it's a combined no hitter, yeah, right? Was it, was AJ it, Del, yeah. uh, Delmeyer and, and Miller, right? Yeah, and yeah, and Wade Miller. Yeah, they both they both combined to throw a no hitter, beating Cambridge ten to nothing to win a regional, yeah, to win a regional nothing, title. Nothing, my bad, guys. Ten to nothing, crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all good. Yeah, not just not just pitching. They they yeah. got so, you know, so in the same the field, so, so in the same game, AJ Delmeyer mm-hmm. makes the play of the 2023 OH playoffs, and then. Throws yeah. a no hitter to end it. Finishes it. Just... Well, the, that, 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 was, that was two, that was two separate games. Oh, so Do, sorry, so Dalmar's catch was, was in the was in the state semifinal. Oh, okay. That, oh, okay. That, is, that, sorry. Is, that essentially kept them in the game. They just couldn't get the equalizing run right. uh, to tie it up. And how did that state? Because I was, I didn't do my due diligence. I didn't look up that state title game. How did the state title game go? Was it? Was it Pretty close. I mean, with a game-saving play, it seems like the the game was actually a well. Close game. Yeah, it, it was a it was their state semifinal. It was their final four game. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they they got they got up one they got up one nothing. Uh, I think in the second or third inning, and then uh, Ontario they they got uh they got two runs in the fourth, I believe. Right. And from there, it was just it was just a pitching battle, and uh, Ontario they they had just enough to to hold off uh, Courthouse and advance to the to the state title game. It was, right. uh, it, it, it was, it was something. It was Absolutely. something for sure. Something I kind of want to harp on. Like, uh, I want to, like, uh, Uniota softball, they went a, their first district title since 96, which is crazy because I remember there was a time mm-hmm. where they, if they didn't win a sectional title, you just thought the team didn't show up. I mean, they were just winning sectional titles year after year. I mean, like, we talked to him before in the beginning of the show, Cole Miller, he goes and wins three state championships, puts Payne Valley at second place. You got Adina volleyball every single year, West volleyball. I mean, just SBC volleyball. What is it about, like, Southern Ohio that just seems like every single year we're sending somebody in some sport or some team to to uh, the finals in that uh, selected sport? What's uh, – as a writer, is it something that you mm-hmm. – because you've been to Chicago and back – is it something that, you know, we, we just think it's only us? Or is it something that's really just kind of... Attitude, parents, yeah. I don't even know. Anything you can think of? <laughs> um, I, I, think a lot, I think a lot of it is that I don't, I don't think athletes realize that they all have a chip on their shoulder because they're from Southeast Ohio. Right. And, 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 and throughout the state, you always hear about guys in Dayton, Columbus, Cincinnati, um, you know, I, I think I just said Cleveland, Toledo, Lima. You you hear about all the the bigger cities, and all these guys are in the Northwest. They're in the Northeast. They're in the Southwest. But you never hear much about the Southeast. And and and, and, I, th- and I think you mentioned <laughs> exactly that's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, but but but, there, but there's just this mentality that. That that inside of all of us who, who who are competitors from the from the southeast district, that we're that we are consistently disrespected year after year after year, and and, and so there's there's just that inner chip on, on our shoulder to just show that hey e- e- even even if you know you know you know even if we don't win we're gonna show up we're gonna compete even if we get embarrassed we're we're gonna go down in a blaze of glory and you're gonna realize that southeast Ohio we got we got some people. Yeah, sure. we got some dogs. Yeah, we yeah. Do. and I, I <laughs> uh, Brock uh, alliterated to this. I think the epitome of what you just said was in one game, and I know you were there. It's probably honest to goodness the greatest high school basketball game I have been to in person was Uniota versus Chillicothe, when Chillicothe got officially deemed the streak enders, um, and that place was absolutely packed to the gills, man. I mean. They had to pretty much keep the doors open so people in the hallway could watch. And that, I mean, the tally, you had Logan Swackhammer, you had uh, the Mothmer brothers on Chillicothe. And 
I mean, just the epitome of all of that with, like he was saying, that everybody has that chip on their shoulder, but now at this point, the chip versus the chip, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like two dogs like going at each other. Um, can you exp- uh, describe like what it's like? You're, you're a sports writer. You're at all these games, man. What's it like to see, be on the field and you're seeing the game, but you can also take in, you know, the crowd and, and what it's like with a, like, it's different because it's, they're just rooting for the team so hard and so loud. Like it's just some well, magical to take in. I mean, every, every sporting event is different. Uh, every crowd is different. Every matchup is different. It, it's just all about just having the right combination of things to go right and 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 to to use that uh you know you know the chill out the game from 20 I 2016 i believe it was 2016 2017 um that there was there was so much hype around that game and i remember seeing the schedule um about two months bef- uh before that game happened i remember i circled that game i, bl- I believe it was december 23rd if i remember yep. correctly and, uh, and 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 yeah, and yeah, I knew I knew that it was going to be standing room only. Um, quite frankly, to the game and could barely get in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I remember that. I um, I, I had I had to call Chilla Coffee j- just to get two seats reserved, and I'm yeah. media. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, yeah. I had I, had to, I had to reserve two seats uh, for me and Derek, and uh, you know that. That entire atmosphere was just unreal. From from the freshman game at four forty five to the to the final buzzer sometime around like nine thirty, it was just nonstop energy. Um, just just not it, it, it was it wasn't it wasn't just one school versus another. It was one community all yeah. coming together, but just but just you know having different colors yeah. separating them. And, and I mean, it was it was most definitely the loudest. Um, atmosphere of a high school game I've ever heard in my life. It, it, it was, it was, it was that crazy that night, Definitely but city championship. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. And, um, <clears throat> yeah. And, and I mean, it, you know, you know, to, to scale back and, um, you know, just take in an atmosphere like that. Um, it, 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 it kind of, it makes me grateful more than anything, J- just to be, just to be a part of that, but also realize that I have another part of that in, in, Telling the story and doing the best that I can to, to represent both sides, but and and doing so in the most respectful way possible while writing a compelling story as well. What makes what makes high school sports so unique is the atmosphere and it's just not being able to be replicated. You know, it's it's just a bunch of mm-hmm. hometown people just coming together as a community. You know, and then like you guys were saying, where it's one community, two teams in one community, you, you get even more of that like hometown vibe with it, and it's just. It, 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 yeah, it's, it's just something to be a part of, especially like this. It's it's it's, it, it's definitely something huge. Oh, so, for sure. And you know, the, the, when, when I was in Illinois, some someone told me something that 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 really resonated with me. They said that nothing brings out more raw emotion in people than high school sports does. Nothing does. Right. Co- college, I, professional, it's high school sports because you really. Because because it's kids, it's your kids, or it's just people you know, and it's your community. So therefore, you will go down swinging, literally sometimes, yeah, uh, you know, for, you know, for your community you know, for bragging rights. See, like a lot of times, I feel like being from you know Southern Ohio, I'm a Southern Ohio kid. I grew up in Benton County, so I'm a TVC guy. But uh, like mm-hmm. I live in Louisville now, and it's just the high school sports. Yeah, it's a big deal, but it's it doesn't have like uh, it doesn't have that. It factor, you know, like they got the big three down there being like Trinity, Mayo, Manual, like uh, uh, St. X is like they got some big schools, but even then, it's like you go to the games and the atmosphere doesn't feel like, you know, it doesn't feel like it is back home up here in in, in, in Southern Ohio. You know, I just feel like a, a, as Ohio, like their football is kind of like more towards like the Texas style football. You know, it's mm-hmm. just in the cold. And uh, that's kind of what I want to throw to you, uh, uh, kind of piggybacking off that, Brock. Uh, Cause I know you and Derek used to write for the Gazette. You go do some great things up in Chicago, um, and then kind of come back and it's, it looks like you both started the Sosa thing. Can you just elaborate a little bit more on what Sosa? I mean, to me, what Sosa brings is so much more exposure to these athletes and helping them get their names out. Can you kind of just elaborate a little bit more on on what you and Derek are doing over there? 
I mean, to, so to, to kind of just give you guys, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, some quick, some quick background about how Sosa started. So I was actually in Illinois and Derek was working for 11 Warriors, um, you know, you know, uh, doing Ohio, Ohio State, State stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, he called me up one night and he said, and he said man, I, I, I just don't like how certain things are being done. I don't like how the, how the kids are, are getting coverage and are not getting coverage at the same time. So what if we, you know, kind of just created our own little thing? And I said, okay, I'm like, well, I'm in Illinois, you know, how would this work? So, so, you know, we kind of put our heads together and, um, you know, we kind of just established that, okay, we're going to start here in the SEC where, where we have, a, where people know us, where we, where we have a base and then we'll kind of expand. So when, <clears throat> so when I moved back in 20, in April of 2019, that's when we hit Sosa hard and we, we said, okay, we're going to go into the S, the SVC, the SOC and the FAC. Well, once we started gaining traction, and people realize that okay, this is you know it's free content, you know you you can get photos from us, you can get results, all that type of stuff. It's like okay, not now we got something. People are starting to, to you know you know go to our site. We're seeing we're seeing um you know the website numbers and um, you know go up. So therefore, we decided okay, let's let's go even further. We'll we'll cover the shack and then you know we'll just, you know we'll just add in um, you know more conferences. And what started as us just covering, I believe, a total of 33 schools, we now cover 78. Ooh, and, uh, yeah. That's and if my math is correctly, that's more than double. Okay. The one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. And I mean, I mean, we, get, we cover, I believe, six or seven conferences now. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll, yeah. We'll cover the paints uh, in the summer as well. Um, but every everything is is geared toward towards the high school athletes, and this and, and I mean th this is something that that we have you know you know a total between me and Derek of a, you know twenty two years doing this, and uh, it, it's it's kind of crazy because I was just reflecting um, a few minutes ago that this upcoming se this upcoming sports season this will be my tenth year in high school sports. Hey, hey, hey man, you're killing it, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I mean, is there like an easy way, fifty <laughs> percent, easy way for people to find Sosa or anything? Absolutely, like that? you you can find us uh, on all, on all social platforms. Um, you can find us on Twitter, Sosa Ohio. You can just uh, search up Sosa on Facebook. Uh, we're Sosa Ohio on Instagram. And oh, um, for me, I found it on Google, just Southern Ohio Sports. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> First that's thing, it. That's right. Exactly. Um, so you, can, you, also, you, you also you can also just just find uh, you know you know me and Derek on Twitter as well, and uh, you know yeah. we we each, we each have um, you know, some stuff um, you know in our bio. So well, hey, real man. easy to find us. Brock, it was awesome having you on, brother. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, great follow on Twitter, by the way. We want to kind of do with this show what you guys are doing to help you. Honestly, promote what you're doing. We just kind of want to be the four students that come on a camera hey, and talk about you it. You guys are the guys that paved the way just so yeah. that we could do yeah. it. You guys can be guys, smart. Yeah, we can't do this show without you guys because we <laughs> that's how we get our information. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? so thank you so, for all that stuff. Really. It's awesome, man, to uh, have you come on. Uh, before you get out of here, I just want your thoughts. What's uh, the football – what are your thoughts on the football and the volleyball coming up this year? Who's your favorite? Who's some players that we should be watching uh, coming oh, up this man. next season? Man, uh, yeah, well, I don't know how much time you guys got. You come uh, back on? You want to come back on? <laughs> it sounds like, hey, bro, you got to come hey, back on the next you show. Got hey, now. hey uh, you guys let me know, and you know I'll be back. That's hey, right. There we, there we go. go. Hey, we got our camera. We, we got, got our first regular. We got it. First we got our first regular. regular. All right, hey, Brock, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pin you down now, though. I'm going to ask you this hard question. Who's winning the league for football? Who's winning the league for volleyball? Ooh. I got your prediction now. And you will be held to this. Yes, you will be held uh, accountable. Hey, hey, that's fine. That's fine. I, I always say that if, if I don't mind being the bad guy. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm awesome. okay with that. Everyone knows how to reach me. If you got a problem with what I'm saying, you are on Twitter and send me your messages. <laughs> um, uh, wow. Football. Uh, are, are you guys just wanting the SVC? What, yeah, what SVC. Who, do SVC. Think, who do you think we got there for the SVC for volleyball and football? Um, the SVC and, vo and volleyball? Man, that's tough. Um, 
Wow. I'm going to go with Junior. Oh, okay. with all, right. Junior. all right. All right. I was definitely um, going to I, 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 think, I think with them having the year they did last year, coming up, um, you know, just a bit short in the SEC, but, um, um, you know, winning a sectional, knocking off, um, you know, top seeded Circleville, making a district Cardinal. All of the um, they lost one player, Sophie Coleman. Uh, so, so you know their whole team is back. Um, Jimmy Hutton is an is an incredible coach. Um, I, I think Unioda has all the makings uh, to win the SEC this year. They, they, there's so much experience. So I'm gonna go with Unioda to win on on the volleyball scene, on the football scene. Man, um, I feel like it's a tight race this year. I think it's a. It, 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 it's it's an incredible it's an incredibly tight race. Um, Zane Tra- Zane Trace is interesting. Um, they do have um, you know some guys back. Carter Langley, their their uh, quarterback is back. I believe Blake Phillips is back in the backfield as well. But the thing is, they have a new coach. They lost a lot of guys on that offensive and defensive line. Um, uh, Payne Pay- Pay Valley, they lost a lot as well. Kevin Cooper isn't there anymore. Carson Free is still there. So. Oh, um, no. Actually, um, you know, Braylon Robertson, um, you know, he's back in the backfield as well. Yep. Um, but I'm, but I'm going to say, oh my gosh. <laughs> I told you I was putting you on the spot, buddy. I know, I know. My, my dark horse pick would be Piketon. Okay. Um, All right. That would be right. my dark horse pick. But I, I, I tend to go with what I know versus what I don't know. And what I know is that Unioda has their quarterback back. Going all oh, yeah, this year. senior, right? Well, yeah. So not being born and raised in this area, I was thinking I had to pick a high school, and a lot of these guys already had some territory, so I'm kind of a free agent right now. So you're saying maybe <laughs> I should go with Unioda, I mean, or should I go to, uh, you know, maybe bandwagon? So, so, okay, so, so, so here's the thing Here's the thing with, with Unioda. They have their quarterback back in, in Newton Hoops, who was, a, who was a, you know, Division Four District Player of the Year. Set um you know all types of records um you know last year, uh but on the opposite coin of that, their best receiver in school history, Maddox Fox, he's gone. Both Griffin boys are gone, including Matt Griffin, who was um you know SEC Defensive Back of the Year last year. A couple guys in the offensive line are gone. There's a lot of production that has gone throughout um you know the entire SEC. So, it, 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 if I got to make a big wow. winner. So, well, no, it, is that if, I got, if I got to make it, if I got to make a pick today, I'm going Python. Oh! You oh! oh! tried to say it here first. I That's like what it. it. Was. I, I like love it. it. All right. Well, hey, dude. Brock. Uh, so we've definitely held you down that you have to come on the show way more. Yep. Um, it, dude, this is awesome. I can't wait to see where uh, this show goes. I hope we have you on a lot more uh we actually great are, great, great football mind great just sports mind in general it was a great yes. conversation yeah. Yeah. Um, great journalism we mm-hmm. will be having uh i guess we could break this news now uh so w- with this talk show we'll be going along with a high school game day show we're going to be going to the svc schools kind of do like a college game day at some of the games so if we uh, run into each other at the games and you don't come on the show that is a hundred dollar fine so we will hold you down to that yeah. or you have to at least buy us a uh, thing of nachos whichever yep. one fits in the budget for that yeah pizza also mm. works pizza taco is, bell yeah. i like yeah. crazy dog the <laughs> thanks thanks for being on man okay. thanks for being on everybody ladies and gentlemen brock Nett. Hey. Hey.